western skies I see lots and lots of trains Through the tunnel by the ocean shore I listen to those diesel engines roar From Birmingham to Baltimore I see lots and lots of trains Lots and lots of trains Coming round the bend and headed down the track Lots and lots of trains Oh! 
All aboard, all aboard, all aboard The conductor on the train goes all aboard, all aboard
city-to-city city and town-to-town town. Here in Los Angeles, this is town People in houses wherever I go Picker by like a picture show This mighty steamer I'm proud to steer From place to place, year to year I'm an engineer I'm an engineer From New York City to Santa Fe San Francisco and St. Abilene, Buffalo, New Orleans, Louisville, the Kalamazoo, Jackson Hole, Tippecanoe. Bye. 
pines, through the pines, through the tall mountain pines, as they travel down that railway line.
houses, farms, and little toy shacks. They look up the smoke coming out the stack. Hear those cars going clickety clack. Watch the little toy train. Some old things just never change, like lots and lots of little toy trains. Through the tunnel and down the line, past the station and the railroad sign, over the hills and through the pines, here she comes around time. Lots of little toy trains. Some old things just never change, like lots and lots of little toy trains. Hear that little train whistle blow Watch them come and watch them go Lots of little toy trains Some old things just never change Like lots and lots of little toy trains Some old things just never change Like lots and lots of little toy trains Traveling slow, back and forth and up and down. Through 
through the cities and through the towns Here they come and here they go Traveling fast and traveling slow Back and forth and up and down Through the cities and through the towns Put them together right from the start When you're done you can take them apart Build them high or build them low Build them strong and watch them go No big 
coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Coming down the line, D for the diesel engine, here it winds. E is for the engineer, F for the flagman standing near, G for the gate that's coming down, H for the horn, that wonderful sound. Alphabet train, alphabet train, all aboard the alphabet train. Learn all the letters from A to Z, and ride the alphabet train with me. I for the interchange where trains switch J for the junction where trains unhitch K for the kitchen in the dining car L for the locomotive traveling far M for the milk car full of bins N for the number on the big engine O for oil that keeps us running fine P for the pumper coming down the line Alphabet train, alphabet train All aboard the alphabet train Learn all the letters from A to Z Come ride the alphabet train with me Q for a quarter mile of track R for the roundhouse where trains turn back S for the signal that's sometimes red T for the tunnel that's just ahead U for under the bridge we go V for the valleys we travel low W for the whistle, hear it whine X for the shape of the railroad sign Alphabet train, alphabet train, all aboard the alphabet train. Learn all the letters from A to Z, and ride the alphabet train with me. Y for the yard at the end of the line. Z for the zephyr that's right on time. Now it seems that we're at the end. And when you're ready, we'll do it again. Alphabet train, alphabet train, all aboard the alphabet train. Learn all the letters from A to Z, and ride the alphabet train with me. Time away Can't 
Wikipedia. Hear the whistle blow. Rise up so early in the morn. Can you hear the captain shouting? Dinah, blow your horn. Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Just 
wave and smile Faces from the past Memories that last That's the landmarks of America Landmarks of America Traveling through the land I love Faces from the past Memories that last That's the landmarks of America That's the landmarks of America That's the landmarks of America Christmas train, it's magical Christmas train and it's 
dedicated to you right now. It's a magical Christmas train. It's a magical Christmas train. It's a magical Christmas train, and it's dedicated to you right now. It's a coming down the track, that little red caboose behind the train. Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train. Got a smokestack on its back, it's a coming down the track, that little red caboose behind the train. I bet you're wondering just what makes me tick. How does a steam locomotive work? Let me show you. Behind this steam engine is the tender, which holds the coal and water needed for the engine. There are two people in the cab of the engine, the engineer and the fireman. While the engineer makes sure everything is running right, the fireman shovels coal into the firebox in the back of the locomotive. The smoke from the burning coal goes out the smokestack, and the heat from the coal boils water in a big tank in the engine called the boiler, just like a tea kettle. And what comes out of a tea kettle when it gets hot? Steam, that's right. The steam builds up pressure just like air in a balloon. That pressure pushes a piston at the front of the engine, and that piston is connected to a number of rods. These rods are connected to the driving wheels. The steam pushes the piston, the piston pushes the rods, the rods push the driving wheels, and what do you know? 
the engine moves forward. I'm a diesel locomotive. I don't work the same way that my steam buddy does. Let me show you how a diesel engine works. There's a big fuel tank underneath the locomotive. It holds diesel fuel, which is kind of like the gasoline that makes cars run. Now, this diesel fuel powers a big diesel motor with pistons and a drive shaft and everything. Again, just like a car. But here's where it gets kind of neat. The drive shaft of the diesel motor is attached to a generator. And want to know what the generator generates? It's electricity! The same kind of energy that lights up your lights and runs your computer and TVs and keeps the food cold in your refrigerator. So this electricity from the generator goes to a number of electric motors attached to the wheels of the diesel engine. At the same time, a fan at the top of the engine forces air down onto these motors to keep them cool. You don't want them to burn up, do you? These are called traction motors, and when the juice hits them, woohoo! The diesel locomotive moves forward. It's all kind of neat, isn't it? Hi, remember me? I was the guy who showed you what made me tick. But does a steam locomotive run by itself? Of course not. Let me show you how I run. Remember when I told you there are two people in the cab of the engine? The engineer and the fireman? The fireman shovels coal into the firebox, while the engineer makes sure everything is running right. But what are all those dials and handles and knobs for? Let's take a look. The engineer uses three basic types of controls. The throttle or regulator controls the speed of the train, how fast or slow it goes. The reverser or Johnson bar as it's sometimes called, controls the direction of the train, forward, neutral, or backward. Then there are the brakes used to stop the train and keep it in one spot. To get the train going, the boiler turns water into steam, and that steam moves the pistons that move the wheels. I showed you that last time. In the cab, the engineer moves the Johnson bar into the forward position. The whistle gives two short blasts to let everybody know the train is about to move. The brakes are released and the throttle is slowly opened up. Hey, we're moving! Actually, there's a lot more to it, but that's basically how it goes. Stopping the train is the same, but in reverse order. The throttle is pulled back, and the brakes are slowly applied, and we're slowing down. Once the train is stopped, the Johnson bar is placed in the neutral position. And that's all there is to it. Have you been? I'm the diesel locomotive that runs in a different way than my steam buddy does. I already showed you how a diesel engine created electricity that feeds the motors that move the wheels 
but here's how I'm controlled. The engineer is in the cab. Wow, look at all those dials and handles. Now, those dials show things like air pressure for the brakes, how much electricity is being made, and most important, the speed. But there's really only three things the engineer needs to use to make the train move. The brakes, the reverser, and the throttle. The reverser, which controls forward and back, is moved to the forward position. Now, there are a couple of brakes, one for the whole train, and one for me, the locomotive. They both are released. The engineer gives two short blasts on the horn to let everybody know the train's about to move. The throttle, which has eight notches, is slowly moved forward. Wow, here we go! To stop the train, everything is reversed. The throttle is slowly lowered, the brakes are applied, both the train brake and the locomotive brake. Once the train comes to a stop, the reverser is placed in neutral. You want to back up? The reverser is put into reverse, the brakes are released, and the engineer gives three short blasts on the horn to let everybody know the train is backing up. Then, the throttle is slowly clicked into position. Either direction, this train is on its way.